Hello viewers, today I am working over this BMW 4 Series F32 and this video is going to be all about the cleaning of the intake ports on the cylinder head. So let me show you what I mean. So I just bought this, I don't know, can I call it a machine? But it, and yeah, actually this is not a sponsored video, I just want to show you and probably do some kind of review of this machine out too. So I'm going to give it a try to see how it's going to clean up and I immediately when I started assembling stuff I had some issue attaching the compressed air to the machine so I need to do my own Oops. Let me show you I need to do my own fitting underneath but not big of a deal So I have filled the machine with walnuts Let me show you how it looks like inside. <clears throat> okay, going to look here, and this is the filter. And as we can see, we have walnuts, which, act which actually they came with the machine itself. So it's pretty cool that we have enough walnuts, hopefully, for cleaning at least one car. Let me attach it. So, yeah, for using this kind of machine, you're going to need a compressed air. So the kit came with this attachment right here which I'm going to use for fitting it in the cylinder head port so it's going to be like that and uh, this is the air gun let's call it which has attachment for the walnuts and I'm going to give it a try to see how good it's going to clean up the intake port so let me remove it all of the paper and show you all right now how everything looks like and actually this procedure is highly is a good preventive measurement for a good idol because as we know this engine is running direct injections I, I, I forget to say but this is N55 so sooner or later you're going to have some issues with this so let me show you how the intake valve, how the intake port is looking like right now. It's pretty carbonized, as we can see, intake port number one. Actually, number one looks probably the worst. And uh, this is going to depend from motor to motor. It really is going to depend on the type of oil separation system that you have. So this is number five and number six. So oh yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah, the camera does not focus, but uh, yeah, number six, number five, number four, number three, uh, number two, and the worst one, number one. So this is how they look like right now. And that's why we're going to use the walnut blasting machine, so to clean them up. And most of the time, this issue right here with uh, carbonized valves, valve stamps is going to lead to some bad idle and some misfires from time to time. So it's a good idea to do this procedure on every between 50 and 8,000 kilometers. Of course, depends on your driving style and the condition of your engine, of course. If you have worn out engine probably you have this issue more frequently because you're going to have some excessive blow by from the piston rings so you're going to have this issue more frequently no doubt about it uh, but now we're going to do this on this car this car right now is at around 120,000 kilometers uh, which is kind of late for doing this job but still it does look so bad but uh, the car is on a real mileage so that's why they look still in good condition but let's try to clean it and see how they're going to look like in the end and i forget to say something important if you try to do this it's really important to try to aim every cylinder when you start run, uh, working on one of the ports let's say intake ports it's really important that the valves are closed so that's that's mean that you're going to need to rotate the engine until you are certain that the intake valves are closed because if they are not closed you're going to put a lot of walnuts in that cylinder 
probably you're going to live with some in the end of the day but uh, it's not big of a deal because they are soft and uh, they're not going to cause any issue in the engine so it's not end of the day but uh, if your valves are open you're going to feel the piston you're going to feel the cylinder pretty fast and you're going to have some bad time cleaning it after that so yeah always make sure that the valves are closed if you try to do this on your car by yourself okay so one of the ports are ready the first one which was the worst one actually so let me try to show you what it looks like now uh, yeah, it's going to be a little bit hard let's try like that yeah, okay, I'm not going to focus like that, hopefully. Focus. As we can see, yeah, as we cannot see, I say like that. Uh, maybe I'm going to need a little bit more on this valve, but uh, as we can see, the stems look pretty clean. Uh, like that. They look pretty clean and the port itself is pretty clean just for comparison the next one which was not so bad like the first one but for sure there is a lot of difference so probably going to try one more time on this uh, second valve because it has some debris here on the stem uh, but yeah it looks much much better okay so i just going to film how we're going to clean the second port once again, I'm going to turn on the vacuum cleaner and I'm going to show you how fast, how, how, how much time it's going to take to clean one of the ports. So, we're going to install it like that. left inside but uh, with compressed air you can remove them and actually BMW is recommending to do this uh, for three seconds several times so I guess this three seconds rule applies here so as you can see this is from the first first try uh, So as we can see, the first valve looks pretty good, but the second one, but the second one is going to need more job. Uh, and as we can see, how much will not left inside. So I'm going to once again blow it out with the compressed air. And once again, you need to be sure that the valves are closed, because if this was not the case, everything was going to get inside the cylinder. So I'm going to probably going to need to do this two or three times more and I believe this port is going to be ready and just show port number two which we filmed the both valves and as usual the camera don't want to focus uh, okay no it does not cooperate so yeah they are pretty clean so yeah so now i'm going to continue with the rest of the six intake ports and i'm going to show you in the end how all of them are looking like okay so all the intake ports are cleaned up so let me try to show you okay let me put some zoom so the first one yeah. don't be so it's hard to show you but The second one, the third one, the fourth one, fifth one. It's really hard to focus with this camera, not know why. Okay, sixth one, you need to trust me that it's cleaned up. So all of them are cleaned up. And as I told you guys, this should be done on roughly between 50 or 80,000 kilometers depends on the quality of your engine 
If you have excessive wear in the cylinders, cylinders and the piston rings, you're going to have some issue with clogging up your intake ports much more faster than an engine with a much more good health. So just a hint, check them from time to time because this can lead you to some issues for sure. So okay, I just wanted to show you what is the process of cleaning these intake ports on the direct injection BMW engines. Actually, this is not only on BMW, of course. On every newer type of petrol engine, you're going to have probably direct injection, which means you're going to need to go through this procedure from time to time. Except the few lucky ones that have the two type of injections, direct injection plus port injection, which is going to prevent this happening in your engine the clock on the port itself plus the valve stems but this is really rarely seen because uh, when you have a direct injection you are not going to have anything to clean up your port your intake port uh, but if you have a port injection the fuel is going to do the job is going to clean up the the walls of the port the intake port plus the valve stems most of the time this is not going to be the case 99% uh, of the engines are only direct injections. I'm talking about the newer, new, newer generations of petrol engines, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to end up the video here. Hopefully it was interesting for some of you guys. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.